Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toaster Bros. And today we're checking out an HP Victus that has a little bit of a twist because we've checked out a lot of the RTX 3050, 3060, 3050 Ti. We think it's time that we actually give one of the AMD mobile cards a try. It features the RX 6500M, which we have zero idea how it performs, but is this $1,000 gaming laptop worth it? We're about to find out. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by NOCN and their awesome 15.6 inch portable monitor featuring an OLED display with beautiful true to life colors that also comes color calibrated out of the box, making it an awesome portable display to get color accurate work done on the go. It also features dual speakers and can be ran off a single USB type C connector to any laptop that supports it for power and display. Whether you're building out a portable workstation setup or when a small display for gaming, consider picking up the NOCN 15.6 inch OLED display by using the link in the description down below. And big thanks again to NOCN for sponsoring today's video. So we paid around a thousand dollars for this thing and Matt and I were actually like just I would say McAllister can maybe include some footage We're trying to find benchmarks of this thing and there's like none on the internet We might be the only people who have ever bought this I know that a lot of people try to stay away from the AMD mobile cards and we haven't really known why so maybe we're gonna find out today It does feature a Ryzen 7 5800H so regardless it does have a good CPU in it But is it gonna be good for gaming with that 6500M that doesn't exist to some people? Well, we're gonna find out and open this thing up right now. This is my, my daily carry. This is from our friends at Carb, Toasty DIY if you wanna see a full video on it. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to try this out because I know that like, I've actually turned down buying some of the AMD laptops, not because I don't like them. I love AMD uh, CPUs and GPUs. I think they definitely have their place, but it's the fact that customers just don't really seem to want them, especially not at a not at a fair price. If they're gonna take them, I think they're gonna want them like dirt cheap. So $1,000 for this, I mean, I would never pay some $1,000 for something with a 6500 XT. And that's kind of like my 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 question is is like is it actually better than a 6500 XT? Is it like 3050 level? I would think it's 3050 Ti level, but we don't know. There's like nothing know. out there for it, so we're just gonna take a look at the Victus and uh, just see what it can do. 150 watt power supply. It's actually pretty small for 150. Yeah. That's a lot of wattage for that. So it gives me a little bit of hope. It kind of makes me think that maybe the GPU is pretty pretty power hungry. So if you guys don't know about the Victus lineup, it's basically replaces their pavilion, like their cheaper pavilion lineups, or sorry, more expensive pavilion because. Pavilion was always kind of meant for like office use, but they kind of started having like 3050s and stuff like that in them. So this is kind of like your in between the Omen and Pavilion lineup at this point. So definitely does focus on gaming with a little bit of business aesthetic. So I mean, it's nice and sleek, 15.6 inch. I assume high refresh, yeah, 144 Hertz. Um, probably pretty good response time and everything. Bezel's not too bad on it. This is really good looking. This is kind of interesting looking, kinda very thick. thick. On the back, we don't have any ports or anything. We have a lot of ventilation though, which is always good to see in the back rather than all on the sides and bottom. We have a combo headphone jack. We have one USB three. There's our charging port. Oh, then we have an SD card reader. Didn't even notice oh, that. Nice. Full size SD card reader. Then the other side we have USB-C, which I love to see. I love to see the USB-C. We have an ethernet jack, which is also nice. Uh, we have another USB-3 and HDMI out. So you might be able to have two HDMI, or well, a USB-C and then an HDMI out on this. Let's see if it actually has a charge. Oh, it looks it's like always it going has a charge. That's how you know you got a good battery. It's a good sign. It. But as you can see, 5000H. That's going to be the is that eight core sixteen. Yes, thread? it is. Yeah, eight core sixteen thread, and then the sixty five hundred, which is a four gig card. That's all about I know about it. That's all about I know about. That's it. all about there. I know about that. But it does say that it's a good amount newer than the thirty fifty and thirty fifty Ti by like almost a year. So. I'd hope maybe AMD took some notes from that and were able to make something good, but I do wonder why we've never seen one of these before. Yeah, so as always, we're gonna let this thing load up, make sure everything is working right, and then we're gonna install some games and just kind of see what is this RX 6500M all about, and is it really a good gaming card? We're gonna find out. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are testing out Apex Legends for our first round, and we're basically on like high settings. If one or two mediums, we're just gonna call it high, night is winning by 1080, and we actually went back and looked and we tested a laptop that had a 5800U, which I believe is, is this still 8 core 16? I believe just it is, lower just clock, lower clock speed, yeah. Yeah, and uh, that was a 3050 Ti. 3050 Ti was maxed out at 100% though, so it was not being held back and it was getting like 60 to 80 FPS, so we're, we're getting a good amount better on average. It, it was a different map, so it's not a good apples to apple comparison, but I mean, it's still getting comparable performance. So I would say a 3050 Ti uh, laptop version, obviously, would be a good comparison for this GPU. Yeah. I'm Ooh, not afraid. Oh, man. What's this last one? Oh, he slid into yeah. him. 
Yeah, we really like the Victus laptop as a whole. The bodies are pretty much the same throughout the spec line, and uh, it's not super loud. The temperatures aren't crazy. I mean, CPU is at 75 degrees Celsius. Couldn't find GPU temperature as an MSI Afterburner option, so I can't really tell you what that's at, but if the CPU is at that, it probably is pretty close. Oh, I tried. Oh, Mozambique! Mozambique! Get him. Get him. Oh no. Oh, oh no. god. Oh, we oh, got him. oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, this is kind of interesting. I've never. Okay, well. That's an interesting uh, healing mechanism. Get your charge rifle out of here! I'm pissed that guy tried to use it on me. Yeah, the performance seems pretty comparable to something like a 3050 Ti, at least an Apex with a somewhat similar CPU. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool. Let's see what else it can do. All right, guys, we are now in Warzone, running like medium low settings. Um, I was experiencing a little bit of lag on the actual like starting mode um, in the warm up lobby. So, We'll see how this does. Yeah, like, it's really weird. Like, when we're in the chopper right now, we're getting, like, 39 to... Oh, they're 60, but it's, like, it's all over the place. So let's just go ahead and land. When I landed, it went all the way up to, like, 90. So I don't know if it's just an optimization thing with this AMD GPU or what, but, yeah, the FPS gets better as you drop. So I, I really don't know what to say about that. I'm getting shot. Come here, gamer. Nice try, buddy. And people are just landing on me so I can kill them, so that's fun. Oh! Oh, my man found me. Ah! Oh, I died. Oh, that was it? Wow, I died way too quickly. Warzone's a little bit weird. I don't know, it's really weird. Some spots are getting dips below 60 and other spots are getting up to 90. So I don't know, maybe it's a driver optimization thing or whatever with a new GPU. Or this thing just has limitations in terms of VRAM. It doesn't have four gigs of VRAM, but I felt like the 3050 Ti did better. So I don't know. All right, everyone, we are testing out Battlefield 5, and this is a very demanding game. We're at 1920 by 1080p medium settings right now, and we're on the big conquest mode, so there is a full 64 players here. <laughs> where are they? And, uh, <laughs> but right, where? We're, we're gonna go find some. That's what we're gonna do. We gotta find someone laying down. Like, if I, if I look with a keen eye, I'll find them. There could be people anywhere in here. This is the jungle. This is the Wild West now. Getting close to... Destroying I'm getting, this laptop. I'm getting close to like out of bounds apparently. Why did someone throw a smoke up there? Oh, enemy hit. Oh, tank boat go choo choo. That guy looks dead. He looks slumped. <laughs> oh no, this, this is painful. Yeah, it's for the best, dude. This, uh, this, whatever this lobby is, not good. Do not recommend it. All right. All right, well, that was Battlefield 5. I managed to find one enemy. I shot him once, then died, so. Last game That's is Super Punk. All right, guys, we're now playing Cyberpunk, and we did a little bit of optimizations here, because this game, as you very well know, is very demanding. I'm gonna crank this up, though, because I want some better FOV. We're running low settings, but we're also enabling Fidelity FX right here, so we'll uh, get some extra performance. Basically, it's just like upscaling a little resolution. So, yeah, I tried doing low settings without it, and it was like 40 FPS, but now, we're getting somewhat close to 60, a much smoother experience. So let's just drive. I think I definitely hit somebody in the head. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. You don't even have a star yet, what are you doing? I don't know, I'm slacking. Whoa, 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 chill. You still don't have a star, oh, you got one. It just took like 10 shots. I was like, that's a sure way to get a star right there, baby. Yeah, this GPU is kind of weird. I feel like 3050 Ti does perform better in most games. But in Apex, it was fine. What are you <laughs> like, doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't work in real life. What are these <laughs> physics? Full speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, baby. All right, baby. Here we go. Oh, what? Wow, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. That's not what I saw coming. 
Can't get me, can't get me. <laughs> Look at the movement, it's insane. Okay, I'm dead. All right, well, that's Cyberpunk. And uh, yeah, kind of mixed feelings about this laptop. I think at its current price point, it's kind of weird compared to a 3050 Ti, but it is interesting to see that AMD has an RX 6500M that we can't seem to find anything about. So yeah, there's that. Let's wrap this video up real quick. All right guys, we just got done benchmarking this laptop and we definitely have some interesting thoughts about it. The 6500M is a lot better than we thought it was going to be. We saw some people saying it was like a lot worse than 3050, 3060. We found that it was pretty close to 3050 Ti. So basically 1660 Ti, maybe slightly above that performance. 5800H, amazing processor, definitely packs a lot of punch and will be great for editing and doing things like gaming, editing, maybe some streaming, other stuff like that. But at $1,000, eh. That's the weirdest part is 3050 and 3050 Ti laptops go on sale for like 800 bucks regularly. So that's the only thing that's kind of weird about this. But if you want to check out any of the other spec lines of the HP Victus, which we do highly recommend, check the link down below. It will be an affiliate link and it will help us out. As always, let us know if there's any other laptops you want to take a look at that are interesting or just kind of crazy or any other content ideas you have, let us know down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye so if you guys want to pick up this laptop or you want an actual gaming pc we got you covered over at pc bros pc bros .tech, we sell gaming laptops gaming pcs and even full setups in person and if you use code toasty bros 2 on checkout you can save good old two percent on your next purchase see you guys later goodbye bye bye